On this day that marks one year since the Uvalde mass shooting, school security bills are making it through the legislature. Advocates for armed officers in school are learning that may soon become a reality. Fox Wars' Dion England joins us with more. Dion. Hi there, Clarissa. As the state legislative session winds down, Fort Worth PD and a nonprofit it has teamed up with are hopeful about a new layer of protection at elementary schools. It seems more likely that elementary schools throughout the state, including the more than 80 campuses within Fort Worth ISD, will soon have armed officers providing school security. I feel that something is definitely going to materialize. Amber Spurgeon with Texans Against School Violence is referring to Texas House Bill 3, which is headed to conference to preserve that campus security measure. They have to adopt what they decide on. The amendments have to be done by min Monday, and then they do a conference committee. The effort came in wake of the tragedy in Uvalde one year ago. If HB3 passes, the state will provide funding for public-private partnerships to help protect the youngest students. So the goal is clearly to have security in every school in Texas, the elementary schools are the ones where the security is not there. Fort Worth PD is a vocal proponent of the measure, authored by Representative Dustin Burroughs. The department is working alongside Spurgeon's grassroots group of elementary parents. We're here to be a partner with our community and, and to keep it safe. And our chief is uh, behind our efforts 100%. The unique plan would allow the strategic placement of officers without stretching thin a department's staffing. Maybe we can look at some of our reserved officers. Maybe we can look at some retired officers. That's just, just, I mean, that's just uh, as we as we think through this, uh, we've we've spoken to Chief. We're, we're just trying to figure out what would be the best avenue as this kind of grows because we do see a need there. And that's where our nonprofit is beneficial because we are a third party nonprofit and they can get officers in the school a lot faster working through us. Uvalde did hit very close to home for all of us. And um, after seeing what happened and knowing the situation, we realized we had to do something. Elspergian says she is optimistic about details uh, within the bill, which at last update included funding equaling $100 per student.